mountain bike and BMX, France. It's Wednesday, March 11th, and you are tuned into USA Cycling's The Mountain Report. In this space, we will be covering all of the action from the 2020 Pro Mountain Bike Cross Country Tour and the 2020 National Downhill Series calendar. For this first episode, we are taking a look at the Tennessee National, the first stop on the Downhill Series calendar, and also run down the USA Cycling Elite BMX National Championships, which took place in Houston, Texas. We're going to start with downhill and all of the action that took place at Wind Rock Bike Park in Oliver Springs, Tennessee this past week. The skies were sunny and the track was dry, which meant the racing was fast. Frida Helena Roning had her run dialed in qualies and did not waver in the final, dominating the competition and taking the top step. Rachel Peugeot took second place with Carolyn earning third. Rounding out the women's field, we had Maisie Hayden in fourth, Ella Erickson in fifth, with Heather Mountain McKenna Merton, Emily Harris, and Riley Weedman filling out the rest of the field. On the men's side, we had some real hitters going at it at the top as they prepare for the first World Cup event happening in two weeks. Dakota Norton used his local knowledge of the Wind Rock track to register the top qualifying run and to repeat that feat in the finals to take the elite men's win. Luca Shaw finished second with Nico Mullaly grabbing third place. Stephen Walton came in fourth and Walker Shaw rounded out the wide angle podium in fifth. And here's what the rest of your top 10 looked like from Windrock at the Tennessee National. Moving on to BMX and the USA Cycling National Championships, which took place this past Friday evening. Rockstar Energy BMX track in Houston hosted a full slate of races over the weekend that saw the best in the world get a sneak peek at the track, which will host the 2020 World Championships. But that isn't until the end of May, and right now we are more concerned with who took home the Stars and Stripes jersey in the elite field. For the women, the story was all about Olympic silver medalist and world champion Elise Willoughby, who did not relinquish the lead at any point and won all three rounds to take her ninth national championship in the past 10 years. Willoughby Crane, Stancil gets one, two, and three, in and out of that last turn, bring it back around. Willoughby wants the Stars and Stripes back on her sleeve as we come back down the last straightaway, back to the line, we're gonna go. Last year's winner, Felicia Stansel ended up with the silver medal, and Brooke Crane finished in third, earning the bronze. Danny George finished fourth, Delaney Vaughn was fifth. On the men's side, Connor Fields, much like Willoughby, was unstoppable, sweeping the competition without losing a round. This is the Olympic gold medalist's fourth national championship. Trying to find a way. Here we go on the first turn, down the second straightaway. Fields, Garcia, Smith, House trying to find a way into the mix. Looking for a Behind body Fields, body. the action was edge of your seat exciting with more lead changes than you could count. Still, it's off Fields, Smith. Oh, oh. In and out of that last turn, where to go? Coming back at us now, still getting it done. It's all Fields on the top spot. When the dust cleared, Jeremy Smith had captured second place with Zach Van Kamen earning third at the finish. For the elite junior women, Peyton Ridnor took the win with Mackenzie Gayhart in second and Lexis Colby in third. The elite junior men's race had Nick Adams winning the Stars and Stripes jersey with Zach Jacobs getting the silver and Braden Kempel earning bronze in another close finish. Looking ahead to next weekend, we have the opening races for the Pro Mountain Bike Cross Country Tour, the Pro XCT. The first round takes place at the U.S. Cup Vail Lake event in Temecula, California. We are anticipating the best racers from North and South America to be in the starting grid, and the Mountain Report will be there to cover it all. Thanks for tuning in. We will be back with new episodes throughout the season to cover all of the action on the dirt. Until next time, for USA Cycling and the Mountain Report, I'm Bill Scheichen. We'll miss you, Ben.